Hi hey guys, this is Dave from Garden Gnomes. One of the things that I probably should have done and I have is show you the different uh, cool gnome accessories that we have. This one here is actually a garden log and it's a friendship log. A garden is a is a friend that you can visit anytime. But anyways, I, I didn't do too well as far as the slogan. Everything else looks real nice, but uh, I kind of messed up. You should be able to see the letter. But one of the things is, what can we put on here? What are some of the cool things that we can do with this? This here I can envision in a maybe a rock garden setting, maybe in a small flower bed up by the house. Maybe you have a, uh, a little water garden, what have you. But Here's some of the things you can do just with some of these. Um, again, I would recommend putting sand in here. You can also attach it, fix it with some glue. Uh, just some of these kind of things like this kind of make these things look good. Brings your gnomes out looking nice. Uh, this is a couple of the Alberta, the smaller ones. And of course this one here kind of needs something to sit on anyway. You can go ahead and put them on like this. Uh, the other day I had a video I was kind of showing people the the older the more traditional type of gnome this here I couldn't remember her name it's out though and again you're gonna want to um, put a little bit and the thing is these here are all glazed so they're gonna be tough to to keep on with you guys using the different stains and stuff they're not gonna be slippery so they're gonna stay on and again you can go ahead and put your sand right up through the where the pore hole is Get the sand in this part and then stick some baggies in here to kind of fill this section because you don't want the sand in here because then it's going to topple over. You want the sand back in here. You can go ahead and you got a nice little seat uh, for both of these gnomes. Another thing that we kind of like to do is maybe you're not a fond person for gnomes. Maybe you want have a water garden and you like alligators or such. This one here my wife did with different techniques. These here are two of the little alligators that we have. You can see the, the kind of the rough skin and stuff or, uh, that alligators would have. Here again, it makes a real nice garden, uh, rock garden setting for you. And what makes these good is you're making these, creating them to what you want to do that makes sense for your garden. Here's the, the ping and pong turtles again. You can put them here. I kind of, I was going to make a more natural look. <laughs> My wife says, you're trying to make fantasy. You're trying to make enchantment, uh, magical, mystical. What's so, why would you make them look natural? So we kind of put different colorations and stuff, kind of made them. These here are made to go here. We also have some frogs, toads, turtles, anything you want. It kind of makes it look nice. Again, uh, all these here are made where you can put... Uh, a baggie in here. I wouldn't use a Ziploc. I'd go cheap. I would go um, fill it up with some sand, put the twisty on, push it in there. This will be very heavy. Sit on there forever. You can do that for any of these things. Put sand and put it in a bag. But that's all I got. There's plenty of things that can be put on here. I think we have a couple bees coming or the butterflies or some uh, mosquitoes. There's all kinds of things that you can put on this bench to really make a, a nice little statue or figurine for a rock garden or your flower garden. So just wanted to kind of bring some of these things out because just having a website, you should be able to show the whole complete picture. Unlike if you guys went to ceramics, you know, ceramics when it was big, they had all kinds of stuff all over and you couldn't, it was very hard to put things with this, with this, and this will go with this. But here I'm gonna start getting these things put out for you. Um, so it would kind of help you out to what you can do and, and how to really make your gardens really look nice.